What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep where I've gotten all of our stuff transferred back. I didn't bring the shark with me though, unfortunately. The shark is still on yonder island, way off, I guess, on one side of the building. It's probably, I think it's that one right there. Anyways, the islands are kind of hard to mark at this point. I actually really hope that at some point they allow you to actually add like a smoke signal that just burns forever. I know it's not good for gameplay reasons, like for realism reasons it's not going to work, but I would like to be able to make a bonfire that puts up a big plume of smoke that shows no matter the draw distance, so that you can can mark your home island or B you can actually just mark islands you've already been to so that you stop going to them but for right now I guess we got a little bit of a swim in front of us there's kind of like some small problems here in that our island is currently surrounded by sharks and I am bleeding and we have no way to get out there except by swimming so I figure what I'll do right now is let's eat a coconut real fast that's all that I really need to do you'll see that I've set up our lantern which is bleeding through the walls of our lovely little shack Anyways, here's our collection of, you know, flashlights, and I left the paddle here because we don't need it anymore. I'm just going to roll around with machetes from now on because they tend to be a better weapon than anything else, I guess. We've got our fuel tank. So we got all the we got all the important stuff over here. I didn't, like, transfer over the rocks or anything else because I actually don't really think that we're going to need it. I think that we could just ignore it for right now. And so, honestly, what we want to do for right now is just get back out here and get some more exploration done. So, obviously, we'll be on our way out. I'm going to get to swimming. Actually, I said that I needed to eat a coconut, didn't I? All right, well, I'm going to eat a coconut. I'm going to... I know it's like nothing out of the ordinary for this series, but oh my god. These shadows. These shadows which surround us in this tropical hell. Anyways, there's sharks everywhere, so leaving this place is going to be a pain in the ass. I actually really wish that bleeding would stop on its own after a while, so that you could just be like, yeah, whatever, I'm fine. Not worried about it. But unfortunately, bleeding doth not stop on its own, so we're still, like, bleeding profusely, just as we have been for the last couple episodes. It says in the wiki that there's an item called a bandage that heals it, but there's no Wikipedia entry for the bandage. Like, it says bandage, but it's written in black letters instead of, like, the, you know, the HTML hot link text sort of thing so anyways I, I don't even know if the bandage is in the game as of right now which then begs the question whether we should just like suicide it and start over and like make a new character that doesn't have to constantly worry about being chased down by sharks as we swim across the ocean but let's choose a direction this one looks good with the little mast on our right I don't know if we went out there and searched that one I'm pretty sure we searched everything around here Oh good, the sound of a shark is already upon us. Our island is seriously surrounded by sharks. Like, there are so many around our island that I'm willing to bet the rest of the game has, like, none, like, anywhere. Seriously, it's weird how many sharks there are around our island. It's like they can smell the blood in the air, not just the water. So, anyways, hopefully nothing terrifying happens here. I'm gonna try and swim across the ocean to this island that I have highlighted. I will see you all when we get there. Alright, well I figured I'd bring it back in. We've got a pod of great white sharks over here. I don't know. A chum of great white sharks. Either way, the apex predators have figured out that there's some kind of utility and love and friendship and working together. And that is the worst thing ever for us as a prey animal. I figured I would just turn the camera on for a second just to make sure. Just to make sure, because I don't want to die off camera. That is the worst thing ever. Seriously, for those of you who are new to the channel, there is nothing that I hate more than dying off camera and having to come back and be like... Yeah, so, we died, and welcome to a fresh playthrough of blah blah blah. While I was farming, I fell off a cliff, and I bumped my noggin, and now we no longer exist. And there you go. But anyways, I turned the camera on just in case, but whatever. I don't think the sharks are gonna get us. It's all gonna be fine. We can outswim them. We can outswim them! Alright, so we're coming into port. We're not quite there yet, but we're almost there. The operation today is basically just like Operation Pearl Diver, essentially. We're just going to be going around looking for lovely little pearls along the bottom of the ocean. I swam past a wreck on the way out here, but I wasn't super confident that in deep water... It was a wreck, like, way out in the middle of the ocean, but I wasn't super confident my orienteering would be good enough to where I could find my way back home if I dove down and fiddled with the wreck for a while, because I looked around and we were, like, surrounded by random islands, and I was already feeling just a little bit overwhelmed. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to hit this island right here. We're going to use it as a branch point for going out and figuring out the things that we want. I swear to God, if I came back to the same island we were just on on accident, it is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be all up in chia. Hmm, is this the same island? I don't think it is. I don't see that big rock on one side. Either way, though, it's an island that has itself a little bit of... It looks like there's a dead boat over there. I don't know. It looks like there's a boat which has been soundly defeated over on that side. Let's go ahead and get to shore here. I'm going to turn around, and we need to mark the island that we came from. And so that's the one right there. So what we need to do right now... I need to find myself some sticks or anything else. We got a tree. 
And there's kind of like a little outcropping of rocks right there. All right, let's find ourselves anything that we can really like mark this location with. And then after that, we'll start looking around for wrecks. I realize that this plan does not always go according to plan. But at the same time... I'd at least like to make some attempt at orienteering before we go everywhere else. I figure if I can mark every single island with some kind of like directional sense so that we can get back to our main home island, no matter what, eventually if I just swim around randomly, I'll hit one of the islands that I've marked. And then from there, we can just follow our little breadcrumb trail all the way home. So with the breadcrumb trail, that is actually kind of like a smart thing to do if you're trying to like find your way back to a location. Hansel and Gretel 100% had it right where it's actually probably a decent idea to set up just random stuff all over the place to maybe see if you can find your way back home in case you get disoriented. And so for me right now, I'm just going to pile a pile of sticks right here that kind of like point in the direction. I guess that I could make my arrow if I really wanted to be sort of cool kid about it. So anyways, let's be a cool kid, I guess. Here, we'll go like that. And we'll grab that one from the center so that it just kind of like slides this way. And then we'll grab that stick, and we will drag it all the way to the back, and then we'll just slide it on in like so. And so there it is. There's our little arrow. It doesn't point, like, perfectly to where we want to go, but I'm pretty sure it points mostly to where we want to go. So that's going to be our island right there. And so now, it will never be of doubt, and so that's the thing. I, I find that I get lost, like, a lot in this game, and if I don't, it's always when I, the first time I forget to leave an arrow behind is the time that I, like, lose my base and can't find my way home. And so, usually by swimming around randomly, eventually you'll get it, but, oh, there's a wreck over here, and this one's like, what is this? A mysterious box. Okay. This is obviously a, a castaway reference from FedEx. Can I open it? I don't know what's gonna happen here. A mysterious box. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like it opens. We light it on fire. Is our lighter out of fuel? How come our lighter's not working? There we go. Sometimes the lighter doesn't like to work. I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The lighter don't light every now and again. Because why not? <laughs> God. FedEx, express yourself. I hope that, is it actually FedEx? Did they use their, oh, DeadX, okay. There we go, I was gonna say, FedEx would enjoy the extra promotion, I'm sure, but I don't know if you could get away with that without first, like, clearing it with FedEx. We're bleeding a little bit, but we got time. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit this wreck over here. I don't know if we're gonna find anything up in here, and in fact, we are not. This is actually one of the simplest models of wrecks that you can find. Sometimes there'll be a toolbox right there, but other than that, you're not gonna find much most of the time, so it is what it is. We'll head back to the island real fast, and then we'll try and look for some other bubbles around. We're still coughing. Our bleeding arm apparently causes coughing. I don't know. It's just a thing that happens, and you've gotta learn to live with it. If we got a potato plant over here, that would actually, yeah, that'll make our life a little bit better for right now. The mysterious box, I'll investigate in between episodes what we can do with it. My guess is that it's just a castaway reference. It's not even, like, an important thing for us to... Oh, that's a shark. As I said, I think there's bubbles over there, but no, that's a shark. They've actually come up with new hunting techniques since we arrived on the island. They've realized they've become sentient. They know that we go after the bubbles, and so now the sharks have begun expelling bubbles from what orifice? I'm not really sure, but from an orifice, I guess, in order to attract us to their location. Smart. Well played, shark. Well played. Looks like we got some bubbles over there. I think that we should, probably should be... Yeah, we got this. We got this. Let's go find these bubbles and see what we can do. Swimming with a rock in your hand. See? That's swimming slash hard mode. That's slash... It's hard mode equal equal true semicolon. I know I saw bubbles over here. There they are. The bubbles can be hard to find because the horizon is like the same color as the bubbles. Which can really kind of just like lead you on this wild goose chase where occasionally like you go out after some bubbles, get lost, and you're like, damn it, well now I can't find, oh, I think this model never has anything. I'm pretty sure this is one of the boats that doesn't have anything for us. We can have a look just in case, but I think it might be just kind of like a, yeah, there's an amphora over here, but that's about it. This is going to be one of those boats that's just like a giant wash. It's not really, it's not really even like worth the time to come over here. A giant, well, I feel bad using that phrase now that I like Firefly. I liked, I've liked Firefly for the last couple of years. It was one of those things that I like never knew about until like three or four years ago when my friend like sat me down. I find that that's how Firefly spreads. Firefly spreads best when people just like tell other people like, you need to sit down and watch this like right now. 
And if you don't, then I'm going to destroy you with my internal eye lasers of psychosis. And so you sit down and you watch Firefly and you're like, wow, that was the greatest thing ever. I'm so glad that I found Firefly. And then you buy the box set and then you show it to somebody else. And pretty soon everybody knows about Firefly. And that's just the way it goes with Firefly. It's just that's how it spreads. And so anyways, I was going to say, I feel bad about using the phrase, it's a wash now that I watch Firefly because it feels like it's derogatory and I don't like the disrespect. Eh, I'm not going to spoiler it. Not going to spoiler it. It's fine. You'll all figure out. You'll all figure out. Anyways, let's go see what this boat has. Maybe there'll be a toolkit or something else over here that we can use. I may need to make a raft in order to properly get on top of this wreck. This wreck can be kind of a pain. This wreck can be a wreck to get on top of, is my point. Like, it could be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Because your character has, like, no connected jump animation to get back up on boats. Like, you know the animation that makes you get up on a raft? Well, the game tries to do it right here, but just can't quite, like, seal the deal. In either case, I don't see any, like, toolkits or anything over here, so I think this is going to be a big, like, 0-0 zero, zero goose egg at the top of our score mart, or our score mart, on our scoreboard. I don't know. Some days I just have trouble talking. It's the strangest thing. Like, some days the commentary just flows, and you just go with it, and then other days it feels like you get inside your own head, and you're just like, Mrah! and then you just, like, can't talk about anything without screwing it up and feeling like an idiot, and so... I don't think it's like quite the latter. It's not one of those days just yet, but it's not necessarily the former either. This island feels like it's been deforested. Like, I don't see a whole lot of objects here that we can eat. Aside from me chopping this tree down right here, I think it might be a good idea. Are there any coconuts laying around somewhere? I just want to make sure that I can eat if we're going to stay here long term. We need, like, something we could eat and something we could drink. I think it might just be a really barren island, in all honesty. It might just not have any of those things we want to survive with. You go ahead and I'll grab that real quick, drink it all up. We'll take a look around. I actually think this was kind of like a poor island to choose. I guess this one probably didn't work out for us, so I think we might have to go somewhere else. That's disappointing because I was hoping we would find a location where we could do some long-term, like, wreck diving, and unfortunately that's not the case. I, I don't know. Looks like it's just not going to go that way. So anyways... Maybe. It looks like there's a little double island over there, although I don't know if it's going to be worth swimming to instead of, like, going back to our home island. Maybe. It's getting a little bit dim right now. It looks like there's something right there. Did I get that one? Let me go look real fast. This might be the one that we saw earlier on in the day. For wreck spotting, it's always easier. Yeah, we already saw this one earlier on in the day. It's strange. Like, wreck spotting goes best in the morning. So if you're trying to find, like, bubbles you haven't been to yet, always do it in the morning. However, if it's closer to the evening because of, the, like, the color that the water gets, it gets harder to see bubbles based on the time of day. So I would just watch out for it. It's not going to stop me from harvesting and bringing back useful stuff from this island. I am going to chop down some trees, bring back some coconuts, bring back some rocks. But none of these are things that you all need to see with your optical units. And so I think I'll be up out of here. I'll make a cut right here. And then once we get back to doing some more wreck diving, we'll turn the camera back on. Okay, well... Home sweet home, here we are. I feel the need to get revenge on Fredegar, and so as soon as the sun comes up, we're gonna go ahead and fight with this punk at... Is the moon going up or is it going down right now? Oh, man, it's gonna be a while until daytime. Alright, we may have to fight him in the darkness. I don't know. We'll figure it out in just a second. Either way, welcome back home. At least I'm pretty sure we're home. If we're not, our house should clip in at any moment. There it is. Our house is finally drawn into the game. So finally we made it home. It took a little while. I did, like, verify with that bug. So you can't actually... I tried to fly a tree all the way back over here. Basically, I rode a tree about halfway across the ocean, and then it despawned. So I think anything that you interact with when it crosses the shallow water to deep water threshold will despawn if and only when you've saved your game. If you've saved your game, then you're kind of just like SOL. If you haven't saved your game yet, you're actually in good shape, and it means that you are not going to lose your raft every time you go sailing. But yeah, that's a major bug, and you'd think that's one of the ones that the developers would be hustling to fix, like the day after the game came out, but unfortunately... They seem to be sitting on it and not, like, really too... They, they announced it on the forums that they are aware of it, but much beyond that, they haven't really made much of an attempt to fix it. I mean, that would be one of those hot fix things that if it was my game, I'd be trying to fix it super quick. Anyways, got a few more rocks here. This is all of the booty that I brought back from the other location, giggity. And so now that we've got enough food... I mean, I'm trying to keep myself stocked up. Like, that's really ultimately at the end of the day... I'm, like, out of certain items, like palm fronds and things like that, and I'd prefer to have a lot more of them if I can manage it. 
Now for right now, we can make ourselves a bed at some point. It looks like we probably have about eight palm fronds. Okay. I don't know how to make the bed. I should look at the I should look at the crafting menu right now and just sort of see what other people have said. The dead express box, you actually can't loot that, and that's gonna be a lost reference. I'm sorry, not lost reference, it's a castaway reference. I apologize, it's a castaway reference. Tom Hanks castaway, essentially what happened during the movie is he had like this box that he just didn't open the entire time he was on the island because it was like the one thing that like remained sacred like he was going to take that box and deliver it to the person that it belonged to it wasn't going to get lost or like stuck you know it was basically like the the fact that he wanted to deliver that package i guess was like the thing that kept him going i'm not really sure i'm not much of one for like symbolism or like art critique so i could be totally off here green coconut how come i can't hit you with my machete here i'm going to drop the machete real quick there we go it's kind of like dropping the base but not quite how come, is it because I'm crouching? Oh, it's because I'm crouching. And it's trying to roll off in the middle of the ocean. It knows what's about to happen. Like, no! I will not be dinner! Here, swing. Swing better, 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 better. How come it won't let me swing at the... What the hell, man? Let me swing at the coconut. I hate you, coconut. Why won't you let me destroy you? Hmm. This is an interesting situation. Will this one allow me to swing? Okay, so this one will swing. If you're wondering what's happening right now, I'm telling it to swing at the coconut so I can drink it all up, and it's not doing it. It is choosing. It's willfully disobeying and not allowing me to kill the coconut. Strangely enough, maybe our machetes are bugged. I don't know. Get rid of the machete real fast. Will it let me swing anything at this? Hold on, let me get this axe right here. Let me find out. Yeah, everything's bugged. It won't let me swing anything. Hold on. I guess we've run into, like, some kind of weird, I don't know, bug where it won't let me swing an axe at an object. Yet another bug. Interestingly enough. All right. Well, let me... I don't know. This one's got me at a loss here. Let me try and reset the game, I guess. And once I reset the game, I'll see if maybe that fixes it. I'll be right back. All right. Well, that appears to have fixed it somehow. I don't know. Weird things happen in this game. Like I said, like .01 alpha where there's going to be issues... I suppose. It's still a little bit weird, though. Still a little bit weird. Maybe it's just that one coconut that eludes me. I'm not really sure. Either way, I don't feel so great about being eluded by a, you know, an inanimate object, I suppose. Hmm. Got outrun by a coconut. Outsmarted by one, too. See, this one won't let me swing at it, though, either. Is it all of them, or is it only some of them? It's only some of them, strangely enough. Huh. I wonder if there's just, like, the ones that I brought back from the other island are, like, cursed coconuts that cannot be cracked open by any object. I'm not really sure what's happened here. What if I put this one over next to this one? Can I make it count? No, that one's still off limits. You ain't getting inside that one, interestingly enough. Huh, that's weird. Only the original coconuts on this island will allow me to break them open with a machete. All the other ones are, like, ignoring my orders entirely. Well, then. I'm glad that I went to all the effort to bring the coconuts back. That means it actually puts a finite gameplay experience in front of us where we could die shortly. I actually heard that this is solar. I heard that you have to leave it out in the sun or something like that. I don't know if it's just hearsay. We're kind of in that period right now where everybody's like spreading around Nintendo rumors like, oh, if you jump next to this... The hell was that noise? That was weird. I thought I heard the sound of somebody firing a flare gun or something. Hmm, anybody else hear that? Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm just crazy. It seems possible. There's a shark over there, and we're going to fight with a shark before the end of this episode, and we're going to win. We're going to fight, win, and prevail, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so cool that it's going to require an extra soundtrack just to make it work. Just an awesome, like, Rocky tune. I think we'll probably swim out to this island over here next, but if I see a shark near this island, I am going to murder it. Make, mo make no mistake, that shark will suffer. The shark will be destroyed. But for now, I suppose we've done enough in this episode to call it a day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep. It's always my pleasure and privilege to be your host here as we swim around some random abandoned islands, finding strange cardboard boxes, editing out all of my swimming experiences, and hoping that we don't get eaten by especially grumpy sharks. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode where we will be looting yet another island trying to find some more wrecks and trying to make sure that we have all of the cool items before we go on out obviously there's really no point for us to make the engine mounted raft even if we can make it I, I think that somebody mentioned something about like half the objects not being in the game for the engine raft or whatever the one where you rebuild the engine and then you attach it to a raft to make like a skiff or like a boat that's powered 
People said that it's not like completely in the game as of right now. You can only get like two out of four parts. But once again, these are all things that could just be hearsay. So anyways, we can't use it because of the bug that despawns our boat every time we get out to deep water. So unfortunately, even if we build it, it's only really going to be useful in a limited sense around the exterior of our own island. Still, at the point at which the bug actually gets fixed, maybe they'll do save wipes or something. I don't know. Maybe you should all weigh in. Like, do you want to start a new game? That'll like, it'll only fix that until I save again. That's the problem. Is it only fixes it until I save my game again? Up until that point, we can't use the raft. So the second that I load the save to come back in and play the game again, we can't use the raft anymore. And unfortunately, I'm in such the situation where I can't like leave it running forever. But anyways, I don't know. I think I'm having fun with the game still. I'm still having a blast playing it in front of all of you, so I look forward to seeing you all next time. Hi-do, everybody.